All right, Coach, give us some opening comments, and we'll take some questions. Uh, getting ready for an, an Auburn basketball team that's playing with a lot of energy and enthusiasm. Um, Bruce Pearl has injected uh, a lot of uh, fun into that team, and I think the Auburn community is excited about um, what they got going there. We've got it going there, and we've got to make sure that uh, we put ourselves in a situation where we don't get caught up in the moment of what's going on with the fanfare. Uh, we've got to concentrate on ourselves and make sure we're executing and just making simple plays. I, I think uh, especially a young team, a team that hasn't had success on the road, we've got to make sure we concentrate on the simple things. Um, I think they got Simeon Bowers, who's a very good post player, and then obviously KT Harrell is one of the better shooters in the SEC. So they've got a great inside-outside presence of what you want in college basketball. So we've got to find a way to combat that to make sure that we're taking away some post touches for Simeon Bowers, but also limiting um, KT Harrell's uh, three-pointers. You talked about playing on the road. I think they had like 9,000 people there for their South Carolina game on Saturday. Just talk about the difficulty of playing in Auburn Arena with that type of atmosphere and crowd. Well, we haven't experienced that before here, so this will be new for us. Um, but uh, it, it's the same thing we talk about anytime we go into a road environment. If you're worried about the fans and you're worried about things like that, you're worried about the wrong things. We've got to worry about our scouting, scouting report and going out there and executing. So when you get wrapped up in the fanfare of it, then you're worried about the wrong things. How much encouragement can your team take from the way they played on the road at Texas A&M last week and carry that over into this game? Well, I think even I think it's a good thing, especially when you see the fact that Texas A&M goes on the road and wins at LSU. It, it just gives uh, more credence and thought to the fact that we thought Texas A&M was a good ball club. So, but uh, I think the key to what we're seeing here is like we've had success in halves where we haven't turned the basketball over. And I thought uh, against Vanderbilt in the second half we didn't turn the basketball over, and I thought we made our comeback against Texas A&M in the second half we didn't turn the basketball. over. So the key to me is now like going on the road here and having that success of taking care of the basketball in the first half against Auburn, a team that will press you, a team that will deny them some dead ball situations and try to speed you up. So they do a very good job of collapsing. And when they collapse, they're trying to get the ball. So we've got to have a lot of ball security on our drives.